If you have played Beast Swarm for more than 2 minutes, you know what sprinklers are. After nuking a field with the tokens that your beast produce, you can place a sprinkler to help regrow those flowers. But have you ever wondered, are sprinklers even that important? Well, to test it out, I'm gonna go inside the test realm. Oh well, yeah, I'm in the Beast Swarm test realm. You can tell by the fact that I have 100,000 of every single item. The thing about this account, it has a sprinkler, which is cringe. We have to get rid of that. On it banned me. Perfect. Now that I've joined the Beast Swarm test realm, my plan for this video is simple. I'm gonna become a perfect white hive. After I become a white hive, I'm gonna do a boost with absolutely no sprinkler. But just so we know how good sprinklers are, I'm gonna do a second boost with a Supreme Saturator. Yeah, hopefully that makes sense. It's a bit confusing, you know, I'm confusing myself right now. But let's get all the stuff the Test Realm has to offer for me to do my stupidity. Oh um, yeah, badges. I hate badges. I hate doing badges. This is why it goes on forever. It never stops. Uh, uh, uh. It's a miracle. Badges have stopped. Yeah, so now let's just use Star Eggs to get 25 bees. Let's gamble a few gifted myth gigs. I know you guys love seeing them. Okay, spicy bee, precise bee. One of each kind, maybe? Buoyant. Okay. Tadpole. Okay. Four for six. Okay, no. We lost one. We lost two. Okay, scam. I'm going back to Star Eggs. They never disappoint. Okay, 25 bees. Nice. And for anyone who's new, on the Yark channel, we use super smoothies for haste. Okay, so now let's buy only 25 more hive slots in literally two seconds. For some people, this might be five years of progression in playing the game, but for me, it's just spamming my left click for five seconds. Yeah, I just craft all the stuff. Not like I'm gonna use it. The only thing I use is the glider. Glider is daddy. I mean, what? What am I even saying? So now that I have 25 of these hive slots, I'm gonna become a white hive. Sucks for me, I don't know how to make one. Best white hive composition 2023. Seven precise bees and 23 vector bees. I can do that. A little more vector bees that I hatch on the normal day, but this is a test realm. Stupidity is key to success. I shouldn't be calling this stupid. Th that guy is probably a genius who has spent the past five years of his life dedicated to bee swarm. Bro, this is so many vector bees. My hive is straight up vector. Only three more. And then, the epitome of Vector Bees is over. Sanity has been lost by another 5%. Speaking of 5, I need 5 more Precise Bees. Now, for the rest of the hive, the only thing I need is common sense. Every hive color needs a basic bee, obviously. Okay, brave bee. Nice, stubborn, something that we might need. A whole five baby bees. Okay, so I believe I need line bee. And for the rest of the hive, I can probably just fill it up with event bees. Okay, digital bee, most important. Probably the best event bee of all. Oh, I forgot music bee. How could I? Okay, music bee can go right here. It's getting a little crowded here. Just like in real life. Too many people on this planet. Okay, Gummy Bee? I love how I have 1000x Tabby Love, even though I didn't even have Tabby Bee in my hive. How does that work? My final two bees can actually be Windy and Photon. Beautiful. Oh, Bee Bear, what's up? Um, are you still doing the Beastmas quest? Well, I hate to spoil the fun. Beastmas is over. My favorite part that shocks the most people is probably this button. Level 20 and make bees gifted. There we go. My whole hive literally became level 20. And I made every single bee gifted. It's literally on the button. What else can you expect? Alright, next thing I need is perfect amulets. Knowing my luck, I might be stepping on these buttons for the next half hour. After rolling for a good 28 hours, I've come to the conclusion that this amulet is good enough. Same goes with all these amulets. Just give me something good and I'll keep it, okay? Okay, stick bug is probably the most important. What I need is honey from tokens and white pollen and literally everything else. Oh, wait, this is insane. 27 white pollen and 100% honey from tokens. Okay, honey from tokens, I need that. Goo conversion and honey from tokens, once more. How many times have I said honey from tokens? Probably too many. And cog amulet. This one's pretty important too. All of these numbers and letters I do not understand. It is way too much for me to comprehend. Now the exciting part that people hate me for is getting all the gear. I guess probably in 90% of my test realm videos, I forget something like the pedal bell or the coconut clogs. I don't even know. People always point out one mistake I make. So in this video, I will not forget anything, okay? This is the one where everything goes to plan. Coconut clogs, coconut cancer. Let's do a little time lapse of my shopping spree. Boom, boom, bop, boop, 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 gummy balls. Yo, I didn't forget the pedal belt this time. You guys proud? So now that I bought everything that I need, I believe I can spend all my honey. And the reason I'm gonna do that is to actually keep track of how much honey I can make. So I've gone pretty close to zero. And I'm back at a million. Okay, scam. I, I do have a few treats that I can spend, so might as well level up some peace while at it. Why not? It'll make the video a bit more exciting. Maybe I'll make an extra 5 billion honey or something. Okay, basic bee, you get leveled up. Basic bee, you get leveled up again, because I love you. And honey bee, 
you get leveled up. Now, the next obvious thing that I need to do is donate to the Wood Shrine to boost. You know, it's a special occasion. We can do a few gifted myth gigs. Anything for that white field. Okay, three, two, one. Thanks, Sia. What do we get? Spider? Please, spider? <gasps> spider! Let's go. I got pretty much every single white field there is in the whole entire game, dude. Now that I got spider wounds, we can do glitter. I don't have any loaded dice. I probably should have thought of that. Great, I've loaded dice for days. Yeah, so I've got this beautiful 10-minute timer right here. So I'm gonna do a massive boost. Well, I don't know how massive it's gonna be. But I'm gonna do a boost for 10 minutes and see how much honey I make without a sprinkler. Yeah, so this field is already leveled. Literally Hiroshima right here. And I've already made 5 billion honey. Oh, I forgot one thing that might spice up this boost is actually the honey day buff. Yeah, so I can open this present even though I didn't do BBM in the test realm, believe it or not. I have this honey day event for times two pollen. Okay, we're making some fat honey right here. What is that? Four billion honey? I do have to say the field isn't as destroyed as I thought it would be. Considering I have 20 vector bees and the field has zero sprinkler, I'm not doing too bad. Oh, gummy star, my first one. Beautiful. Let's grow this to as big of a gummy star as possible. Maybe my gummy baller can poop out that giant gummy ball. Honey tokens. Okay, well, I got honey from tokens on every single one of my amulets, so we should make a lot from this. Okay, so it's been like three and a half minutes, so we still have a bit of time to make a lot of honey, hopefully. I'm sure the professional white hives that are watching this are cringing at this very moment. Like, bro, I don't know how to be a white hive. It's too difficult. It's way too complex for monkey brain to figure out. I notice how little pollen I collect when the field is destroyed. Like, it started out strong. I started getting like, what, 10 billion honey per second in my gummy star, but now it's going very slow. And I blame the field. Maybe sprinkler is actually worth it after all. Okay, this is my last gummy star. Gummy ball pop. Yes, sir. Gummy balls are flying around the field. Giant gummy star. Why are there honey tokens? The gummy star didn't pop yet. Didn't burst out all of its intestines. Okay, timer is done. Whatever this thing is, dismissed. Yeah. Perfect. Just as my gummy star ended. So after boosting with absolutely zero sprinkler, I've come to one conclusion. I'm a terrible white hive. A professional white hive probably could have made 20x what I did. But we're not done with this boost just yet. First of all, we have to spend all my honey right here. Okay, so 1 trillion, 2 trillion. Wait, no, I shouldn't have done that. I still need to buy the Supreme Saturator. Okay, I got my 55 billion honey. Wait, I can't afford it. 55.5 billion? Okay, well, I guess I have to get that first. Okay, got my 55.5 billion. Bro, what? This game loves scammering. It is so nice. I get the privilege to purchase a Supreme Saturator for the 50th time on my 20th account. Okay, so we can start. I'm starting off at 1 billion honey. I don't think it's a big deal. And yeah, let's just see how much honey I make. Sprinkler is placed. It is replenishing my flowers. The field is no longer leveled and it's no longer like Hiroshima. I can't tell if I'm noticing a difference already. Like, I already made 200 billion honey. This is insane. Yeah, well, okay, massive difference noted. No gummy star, no gummy morph. I'm making almost 10 billion honey per second. Okay, so this is gonna be very close. Gummy star, let's compare the difference. How big my biggest gummy star was without a sprinkler versus with a sprinkler. There's a chance I might have beat it by now in two seconds. Okay, gotta remember it's glitter the field, kids. Okay, great. Have a trillion gummy star. For my first one, but yeah, sticky honey tokens. I need to get all this honey from tokens. Do something. Another gummy star. My luck is amazing. Uh, this this one might be a little bigger than my previous one, considering I already have half its size in five seconds. Bro, wait, can I get to one trillion? Bro, what? How much honey am I making? This is insane. <laughs> I don't even know what happened. I just got my gummy star to 2 trillion in like 2 seconds. I'm just out here arguing with my mom over my bedtime. And I just get 3 trillion gummy star. Only 2 minutes and 30 seconds on the clock. I can probably get one more gummy star in if I get lucky. On it, now is not the time to scam me. I'm trying to prove that sprinklers are good. So the more honey you make me, the better. Okay, I got a gummy star. Literally 20 seconds on the clock and I get a gummy star. Last ditch effort to prove sprinklers are good and not terrible and a waste of honey. Which you guys probably realize by now. Sprinklers are pretty freaking good. Good. Okay, time's up. I'll have to leave the field and reset. I don't know where this big gummy star is gonna b**** over. Wait, let's watch this fireworks show. Oh yeah, Dandelion, nice. I probably shouldn't get the honey. But let's compare. My first boost was around 2.1 trillion. I didn't write the results down. I'm not a good scientist. But the second one is 15.2 trillion. So if I pull up the software that Elon Musk personally gave me, 15.2 divided by... 2.1. So I made 7.2 times the honey boosting with a sprinkler rather than without. One, that I'm a terrible white hive, and two, that sprinklers are pretty freaking good. Oh, speaking on sprinklers, there's this little glitch that a lot of people don't know about, so if you don't know about this, 
I'm about to bless you. If you have something like the diamond trenchers and you place your fields across the field, you're a level one noob. What you want to do is place a sprinkler like this, jump, and place another. If you're breaking the game, on it will not ban you for this, Pinky promise. He told me himself. And yeah, let me know what you think of my experiment. Is it scientific? Did I prove a point? Are sprinklers good? Tell me in the comments. And yeah, if you enjoyed, make sure you drop a like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace. Thank <laughs> you.